Welcome to a triple A engine game of Axe and Allies. I am Magican, and this is actually a free engine. And there's some people that has made some of these. You can actually create yourself. It's a creation tool, map tools, but created some uh, some good games. And we can select maps, and I have selected those maps I like both best. Um, World at War and two, but these two is the best, and I have already done a setup with this, and I just show in the last part where we won. Actually, we lost uh, Yakamoto uh, Tokyo with Yakamoto, our AI allied, but they took it back, and then we won the war. But this one, World at War, and I will make two games. One. With out low lock and one with low lock. I will keep this low lock. That's normally what it has, but I will keep this um, as a standard. Let's see. Map option again. So we do not have low lock. And I try to keep this as a standard because I like uh, that we do not have this low lock. That means that you can really get hammered and you can really get winning. But it's also good to take them with low lock so you can see the difference. And every game, even that, that if I play 10 games with low lock and 10 games without low lock, that means it will still be all the 20 games will still be totally different from each other. That's a good thing about this one. Um, also, this low lock means that if we move it, it means it goes exactly like X and Allies. You have six dice, uh, six side dice. And one to six, one you hit always, and six you always never, and five also never hits. The only thing is that there is no research. You can also see unit repair hits end of turn. So they are not repaired at the start of the turn, they're repaired at the end of the turn. That's normal. Unlimited construction, so we can construct all the units we need. Add bunkers and special units round four. Okay, that's... A, okay, this one is because there's new stuff in it. Add elite, marine, combat car, infantry, fighter, Stuka, B, transport. This is something that has been added. This is something else that is added to this compared to the other one. Uh, damage from bombing done to you. units instead of territories. Unit can be destroyed instead of captured and there's also repair units for but this one is compared to the other one I played and low lock for bombing and territory damage no nope. uh, this one and this one these two are different from the other one I can I can just show um, select map this one you can see at bunker Round four, you can actually you have bunker before. You can see low lock is standard on this one. Uh, low lock from bombing, but there's nothing. Shore bombardment, background unit restricted. You can actually restrict things, but this is standard. So um, if I reset, that is standard. But there's nothing with these special units, but they are in this game, and that makes it a different game totally. Yeah. Let's go in again here and open map and take this one. This is a little bit more strategic. It's not like only Axe and Allies where we have different units, but they do have... extra these here, Elite, and I will show you, but you what you do if you want to have the games, you go in, download maps, and there's high quality, good quality, experimental. And I always take this high quality, you can see installed. Big world, like Second World War style, larger version revised, and that's here. Sun, rising sun, you can actually see, this is the Americans, and you can see a lot of things with, um, with the, I have not played this, I just looked, it really looked good. And then World at War, this is the one where you have the whole world so, um, and that's the one we are actually having now. And these are available maps you can take, and most of them are really good. But this is most like X and Allies normal uh, mode. You can see one, two, three areas for this. Normally that's three, three, three. I'm not sure how it exactly set up Europe and uh, Pacific. And it's all free. 
There's nothing you have to pay for. The AI is pretty good. There is some problems when you take a capital. I can show. I will just inform you about that in the in the game here. But let's just say close and then map. Uh, select the map. World of War map option. Let's start the local game. And for showing how it is, you have like default. That's humans all the way, but hard. Easy, fast AI, hard AI. The fast AI, you, they do not think that much. I like to take the hard AI. The, the AI is good, but it's not perfect. Uh, it is good in moves. I have been totally surprised by some of the moves. Uh, I, some of them I did not even see coming, and others where I was like, ah, come on. But that's the way the computer. I'm choosing Germany, as I have done the two others, just to make sure that everything is the same. And I also play Russian, Italy, I also played France. I do not, I have not played Yokomoto, I played Chinese, not played. I played this, I also played British, Antec, not, Dutch, not, Finnish, not, Romanian, Thai, and I also played, uh, have not, and I played Americans. So, all of these you can, you can also resource modifiers, you can just choose, you have more, but nope, we just keep it as a standard. And then we can just say, play here. Okay, we are in the game here. And you can see this is a little bit different. If you've seen the other game, you actually saw that every area in your Europe has been divided. But here, you can see there's actually a lot of neutral. And you also lo look, if you have looked at uh, Belgium and the, the Netherlands there, they were actually um, a, a reddish, not reddish, but nearly pink color, orange color, something like it. And they actually um, were a power. They are also a power here, but they are not in Europe. They are in a different place. They are down here. This is the reddish, orange, pink color. Uh, you can see when you have this area here, it look it's a capital. Uh, when you got this behind, maybe I can show it a little bit better. Like here, this is their capital. And as I said in the beginning, if you take a capital, you get the money. This is one of the things the AI is not that good at. They, of course, go for it, but they do not use it. In the first game I made, I've never done that before. But then it was really difficult to go in uh, and to take it and then go out again. Um, and then not having it in the next turn. But the first game, I've never seen it before. But we captured this. But our allies was not really ready. They were really hammered. So we, I moved all units except one in. They moved in, took it. I moved in again and took all the money for that turn again. So I got all the resources, all the production units. That was crazy. I took everything. Um, this could be harder to win with the Germans and the uh, Axe. But it could also be easier. The way it's harder... When you had the axe before, you can see here, this is what you have of points. You can see Germany only have 49, but they have 40 right now. The Russians only uh, 108. That's a lot. Crazy a lot. But they have 12 now. They also did not were not ready in the last scenario um, because Germans attacked. And the same here, Itachi has 30 and 33 here. And Yakamoto have 40 and 48. They are closer to be ready. Italy also close to be ready. France is not ready at all. Russian are not. Uh, Britain is not. And Americans have half. But the thing is, in the other one, there was only one capital in uh, Moscow there. Here, there's two. They do have more. This was seven. You can see it's five, but there was only three. So they only have these six they can produce, and there's not that many of these fortresses, but they also had a two production here that the Japanese took right away in Vladivostok. But you can see it's pretty different. There's these three, and that makes it a little bit tougher for Russia, because when they take this, then they get all the money. And then they move on, on take that, get on money, and then that means that they cannot produce that turn, plus the money goes to that taking it. But this, they have a lot more units. Look at this. This is looking like Look at that. All the areas has a unit, except these three. 
all of them. This, this, there's one, two, three, four, five, but all those units that has no, has actually a fortress that cost a bunker. That cost six. This is one of the things that's not in the Axe and Allies. That's a bunker. It costs six, but it has two hit points and it defends with two. It cannot move. And you can actually produce it and place it all the way around the map in your areas, of course, without a production facility. So here they can produce six. Here they can produce five. Here they can produce two. Down here, three and five, that's the same. All these here are the same also up here. Four, four, and Kiev, and this. All the areas have the same value. There's no difference for the value, except Moscow has 10 instead of eight. And this has five instead of seven. And this has six instead of three. So they actually have more. This should be like, they're losing three, uh, getting three. They're losing two, they're getting one, and then they're getting two more, that's three, and they have a lot. But you can see we do not have that much. And the only thing is that they do not have the planes they had here. They have one fighter. That's all here. And Germany had more, a lot more fighters also. They have three now. They have four or five, and they had four bombers. And there's no bomber here, what I know, except this one. But they have, there's one. This is, if I have my mouse, mouse over it, you can see it's a normal bomber, like Axe and Allies. Four attack and one defense and six movement. But this is a Stuga. It's cheaper, but it has three attack, one defense, and only four movement. But the one thing is, if you see support and attack, one artillery, all power to one. Allied, at, at, at elite, infantry, and marine. That means that all infantry units that attack this will actually support it. And it also support the artillery. But you can always go up here and help. And choose unit help. And I did show this last time also. But you can see there's a difference here already. Already at the number two. You can see there's the fighter cost 10 instead of 12, like what? But then you can see armored car, that's normal. It's just that it moves two instead of three. In the other one, it moves three. And this is also a different little different unit. It attacks with two, um, but it can blitz like a tank, but it only costs four. Artillery costs four. And that, you can see here, that is worth, because it can be used. This one can move two, but does not work with these things here. But artillery actually work with both elite, elite, infantry. So they boost the infantry. But then there's also don't battleship. That cost 21 in the old game. Here the, the bomber, that's 14 the same. Bunker, 6 the same. Carrier. 14, the same. Cruiser, 12, the same. But it can transport units. Look at that. That's a little different. You can transport infantry. Destroyer, the same. Same price, same anything. And then elite unit. You can see that's cost 3. It's 2 in attack. It cost three before also, but then it was only one in attack. But this elite will actually work with this one. So if you use this one, then you've got two in attack, two in defense, and one movement. But the elite will have three attack, two defense, and one movement. So you also get the factory. It's the same. It costs 15. Everything is the same there. But this is the fighter, normal fighter. That's eight. But you only attack with two, defend with three. But it only cost it cost eight only. And here up, uh, up here, where I go, there you got ten, and then you got three, four, and that's a really good one. So normally I will never use only buy one for eight, except that if you need need something. And then we have like the heavy tank. It's a new unit also. It costs seven, but it has four in attack and four in defense. It's really good to buy. It only costs seven here. 
Uh, then you have normal infantry, and that's the difference. It only costs two, so you can actually produce a lot if you have another with you. Then there's a jet fighter. The difference here is the fighter. It has four in attack and only two in defense, but it can bombard and raid. It can raid, and it has five in movement, but it costs 12. So sometimes you actually want the defense and not the attack. And then we have the marine. These cost four. Uh, they are really good. Also, you can get that with artillery, and then you can boost it to or mechanized unit. Then you can boost it to a four, two, and one, and transport cost two. That's four. Uh, infantry, mech infantry, and was also in the other one, and that boosts this allied and infantry and marine. It costs six instead of five. And then motorized infantry. That means it's the it's infantry, but it's mostly defense. It's not attacking. But they are really good at defense, but cost five, so why not buy a tank? And these you can only get first at round four. Then we have a submarine, a special submarine. It's not a normal one because its first strike can evade, can move through enemies, can't target some unit, is sea transport. Whoa, what's that? Sea transport? Yes, it can actually carry um, infantry. Of course, infantry is the only one, only. Transporting cost two, the rest would cost three. And then the standard submarine has no transport and does not support anything here. Oh, uh, that's not one. Here, there's no transport. That's the way. But you can also see it's three, three, three. And in the other game, it was like three in attack, one in defense, and two in movement. Here, it's actually two, 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 like normal action allies, what I remember. But the support, the, the really good one is 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Then it can move three areas, three defense, and three attacks. The T-boat is the same as before, except the defense is bad. It only has one in defense. So normally you do not buy that many. They only cost six. They are really good at attack, but it's mostly defense you, you need to look at. And then we have the normal tank. It's 3-3-2. Three, three, and transporting cost, and it costs five. And then... The, a normal transport only costs six. Look at that. It defends on one, same, transporting five capacity. Okay, that's for Germany. Russia has this rocket artillery. Also, it's a little bit different. They also have the subs, and they also have the tank. Then we go for Italy. They have the tank, the plane, the fighter, jet, and the sub. The French units only has a tank and nothing else what I remember. Nope. But then the Japanese, look at this, a carrier to 20. But that carrier has two hit points and a capacity of three. So it had three planes on it. These I really would like to buy for Germany. They would be good just to have one on and then two of these. They, that could be really good. They also have a special bomber. Look at that. Five attack can also bombard, also help, also everything. Two defenses, it's not one. And eight movement. It does cost 18, but that's a good one. And they also have the sub. The Chinese units have the fighter, mostly because they got the fighter for um, the US to protect them that time. And the other Chinese has the same units. Britain also have this carrier. They also have the hood. Uh, what I remember, there was something, a carrier they, they lost. So they also have the tank there and also have the bomber and submarine. British has a lot here. And then we have the antics. That is the Australia today. They have the heavy tanks, they also have the fighter, they also have the submarine, and that's it. And then we have the Dutch unit, they do not have any special things, you can see that. The Finns does have, they have the tanks, and they have the jet fighter, and has the sub. Romanian units also tank the fighter and the sub, and then the Thai unit has the fighter. I really like that one, actually, and then it has the sub. The Americans have the carrier, of course, the fighter, the tank, 
the bomber and the sub. And then we have all the neutral units. So I just went through it one at a time there. And that's good. And then please look at the map here. You can see the difference if you take the other game. Yeah, it can be like, should not do that. Uh, you can just pause this. Why, why do the... That's a little bit weird, but yeah, I forgot. You can just pause it or do something. So let's focus on the, the things here. Yeah. I was thinking I cannot pause it, but you can, of course, in the recording. So when you um, see this, you can always see the difference between the areas as I talked about just before here. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm thinking about also uh, is fighting. And you need to fight. You also have the help option up here. And there is one thing I have not talked about, but if you press the F key on the keyboard, you can actually see the units that has not been moved. So I always like to start with the um, naval battles. This is one. This is one. And much of this is the same you're doing. It's like you're doing the same setup, trying to do the same things. Um, so we need to bring this in, and this one we'll bring in here and Danzig, um, but the only thing I normally always do, sometimes I change a lot of things, actually, even that I just said, I do not change things, I actually do, but two things I never change, is the attack on Latvia, and that's actually in both scenarios, and the attack on this area, province, these two areas I always attack, and there is a bomber here. I am not sure in this scenario you should not bomb, you should attack, bomb will only take the money, and you cannot take more than there's four, you can only take four. But it was not what I was thinking about, it was the situation here, um, that you only have one bomber for the, in this scenario. I've not played this scenario that much, so I'm a little bit rusty. I mostly play the other one. Um, this one is, as I said, can be harder and easier. It depends on the train. But one thing that why I have issues with this is actually that you never have a win in the first round. What I mean by that, you can actually have minus nine, I think, in compared to units you're losing, compared to what you should win, I never had like plus nine or plus six or plus three or something. Normally you have around minus three to minus six. And it's impossible to win this when you have that. If you get zero, you can win this. But it's not you. As I said just before, it's Japanese. So you're just stagnated here, fighting, getting France, yeah but then fighting and holding on, uh, so not fun. But that's the way this is. I, I don't know why the dice are rigged. Maybe they're not rigged, but it feels like they're rigged. So let's um, go to Croatia. Down there with one, maybe a plane. I said I wanted to take the uh, the sea, and then I'm doing the other, other opposite. I'm actually taking the land here. No, not that one. I will not use... I will not lose anymore. Okay, these two. These two have an option to help in this attack or have an option to move them down here. If I use this, I should use them in here instead. Let's just move this while we have them. Um, and then have a possibility to attack. If I use them here, I could do that. But then they will get... Killed all of them. It's better just to have a little chance to go in in these areas and then focus on the next target. Okay, these two. Bring in there. How about this? What does it say? Calculate the odds. Okay, we'll get lose two. That's fine. That's because we cannot get them first in the first round, right? Yeah, around two, we lose. So we will get... That's one. And that, that means that we get one. And they get one, and we get more. Okay, that means that we will lose two. And that's fine by me. Or is it? I 
I could also do this, but I think it's way too much. Here we lose one and a half, so why not say no to that? Krakow. Wait a minute. I'll not take them. There and there and this, so we have at least two. 100%, one and a half will lose, that's fine. If I now say do not do that, how much will you lose then? The same, one and a half. Three, we have 340, no, around that, 330, 350. Let's see, this should be stupid to. Okay, it's uh, it's higher up. It's it's a higher situation there. So let's move that in there. This one in here. These two in here. These two in here. Okay, I was talking about the water first. I did the water, but we also have this situation. There's not that many battleships here. I forgot that. They only have one, I think, British. No, oh, no, that's a cruiser. That means, the cruiser means that we can actually, oh, I never normally look at these pictures here. They're also pretty nice, mate. So nice scenario made by this guy here, or guy, or girls. Ah, let's do that. What about this? We can go up there, but it's better to keep them here. Then this we should win without problem because the subs has the first strike and that should be one. Then we should get it. Problem with the subs here are that oh we can get the transport. That will help us not to get that many units down here. So they will stop the Americans of getting their money. Maybe we can also do that there. Then they have two, four transports. This one up here. Can we take these to attack this? We will get one hit in, but then we we'll lose one. And then they will get Maybe one hit in more, but that's only a half. They will, they will they will just lose one of these, and here we will be able to take it all. Yes, so these should be killed all of them. Around ninety percent chance of that. So, and then we have fleet here. But I think we'll just stand here. If we get this, we should get it like 89%, something like it. So, um, how much is that? Oh, we also got some other bombers. Oh, that's Dukas. Let's, uh, and these will actually help the infantry. Let's do this. We'll get three from that. Let's move them out there. This tank. Nope. Unfortunately not. This one, we need another to, to make sure that we get it. Wow, I would like to take this. But this is coming from Berlin. That means that One, two, no, that's not possible. And we got these three units against, no, that's four units. You have no chance. Then I should not have moved all the units over here, but I think it's better. We can always get that. And now I can press the F to see which unit there's still movement in. Uh, no. All of these can go in here. Uh, 
one tank. Another there. Okay, what about this? We lose two and a half. Uh, maybe three, but mostly around two and a quarter. And this one. Yeah, we have the tanks that can do a lot of stuff, but also need... Artillery. How about this one? We'll lose one and a half. Is that the same here? If I do this? Actually, it's a little bit less, but not much. And this is two and a half, right? Yeah, that's two and a half. But what about if I do this? It's a little bit higher. It's the same if I put it in there or put it in there. So I think I would put it in here. This is one, this is two and three. So we get three hits in. Whoa, Switzerland do not have any infantry or any units, but they do have, the. Um, in the other scenario, they had 12, but they do have six of these. Oh, let's move these guys here. And we have this, let's see what's best one. Two, three, four, five turns. Uh, okay, one, two, three. Okay, I think this is better. Let's move them out there. And here in Africa, let's see. We have two options. Either go after the money or go after to protect um, Italy. These areas here are pretty valuable. This is only one with one. These are three, two, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. If Libya knew that there was oil down here somewhere and that and could get it up oh, easily, then they would have a lot better way of getting the oil there and in Romania. But Okay, there's two there. We could try this. But not both of them, right? Because we also need to help. And we, we try to split up and then take all of this. Double click on the territory. You can take all. Um, let's see the F. No, there's nothing there. The planes. Okay. I think that's it. And we should win most of this. Uh, the odds here are the same 90% for all the transport. And uh, so that should be... And this is really high also. Let's just go for it. 100%. So that's not a problem. We will even have six units left. Uh, but we will actually have... Because that hit is will be that unit there. Let's go for it. And here, there's also another thing you have to remember. We only got 40, but uh, artillery, you, normally they cost four. And the other one here, you can actually get two for seven. You cannot just buy one. You have to get two. So I think that's a good deal. And 60. Okay. I always try to get the right out. Okay. We're going to get four artillery and 13 infantry. That's also good. Let's go for that. And I always try to take the sea battle first. What? They did not hit, but we did not hit either. Okay, we got the hit now. That's really important because that's a cruiser. And that's a hit of three. And we should have hit. And that should not have hit. This should have hit if it got another turn. But it did not. We got one. Okay. And then we should... That is the maximum they should get out of this. But what? This is what I'm talking about. 
This is what I'm talking about. They are always ringing. That's one. Let's say that's one. Maybe it's even one and a half. Let's say one and a half because of the odds there. Because we had like 99 or 95%. Let's see. And here we have like a lot more higher. Why? Because we just need one hit and they will not return it. They got the two, the three, come on. We should have a hit for a long time ago. And now they are only two from uh, getting a one. And we should have a hit like five rows ago. And now next time they should have a one if we are not getting it. Okay, they are also a little bit, but we are like, what is going on here? It's like we should not win this. Okay, we got, and this is the problem. With our dices are rigged or something. Okay, then we got it right off the first. But it's really weird. Uh, they are not rigged, but it feels like the first turn never. We are behind one and a half unit already. And now we have one casualty. That's this one. And another casualty. That's not supposed to happen. Let's get the sub out of the way. And look at this again. Can you see this? This is not supposed to happen. We should get all of this without having all these casualties. And that's two and three. It's mostly because we cannot hit. Okay, this one we should lose. Uh, now, we get the transport, but then we should lose. I could also say we should remain, uh, or we should not remain, but I think we should just try anyway to make sure that, uh, okay, we lost it. But it's also the right thing, but this is not right again. It's even the transport getting it. So two and a half, three and a half, it's nearly three and a half now, plus to them. Here, that's, maybe we can, you know, we get, it's a little bit early, so it's not three and a half, three and a quarter now. And here, we should lose one, one there, and maybe one, so it's it's three and a quarter, and then it goes down to three, because they should actually get a little bit more. Uh, they should have, like, for this, so it's maybe two and three quarters. And here, now is one and three quarters, because they should have one there. And they got one in this. Still one and three quarters. If they did not get one, then it should be uh, just a quarter. One and three quarters. And that should also be one, so it's fine. Okay. And now two, they should only get one. But they got on both, so that's a little bit tough. So it's one and three cross. Let's say two. Then we are because they should not just get two here. They get should get five in all. I think that's what they need to get. Let's see. That's one. That's two. That's three. And then they lose, and then they get that's four, maybe four and a half. So we are down to around one. Okay, this one, that was 50% chance of that. So that's fine. And we got this one, but we did not get this. We did not get the money, but we helped them. Okay, here. No, that's not good. That's not the right one. We should have this much better than they have. That's not good. So it's around two right now. They're having more. And now it's three if we if they get one more. They do not right now. It's three. They should not get that one. So they got three more than average. They always do that. That's the problem in this game here. Uh, in this first turn. They are getting more in. I've never been on the other side. I cannot remember. Equal. You are really happy if it's just equal. I've not... I'm not even sure I have an equal. 
yeah, I have. I must have. Um, but it's just so unsatisfying to see these odds here not turn out the way. 90%, that means that we have the two, that they should just one out of 10, and, and the two, that's two out of 10. The problem is, it happens nearly every time that we miss one of them. So, what about this one? Where should we put it? We cannot put it there. There we go. And this one needs to go up there. This one can only move one area. Same with that. This plane out here. And now we're in trouble. We lost the um, destroyer. Okay, let's press the F. We also have this to bring down here. Never do not forget them. They did not even light up. That's a little bit problematic. Okay, we have the 13 and 4 units we have to deliver here. Um, but One, two, four there. That's good. Four. We actually used all our units. Then we have to put them in Berlin. Okay. We got 75. Ah, we should have gotten this. Then we got 77. And we started with 40, but we only, I think we had 48 in the, in the money. That will have been 30 nearly. We got more, especially Hungary. It's a good area. That's actually Czechoslovakia, and they have this um, this tank that was really high. Good quality. And the Germans just went in and took it. This is what they should look at this. This is what they're doing. Okay, we also got a big hit there. But this is what they're doing. They're getting in hits nearly every time. They also got that. They got one. But they hit them and get them first time with one and one, one. Okay, that was a good back there. But they got this easily. Five and one. They will probably take everything here if we have something. Oh, they also went in here in Romania. That's a little bit weird. They should never be that in the, this. They should always go in. But they did take a little part before the axe was. The Russian there. Okay, that's actually good. This one. Then the it Italian people will get the point. I'm actually happy about that. They also go in with the tanks here, take the tanks. Wow, okay. That they should they should have lost one there. But they are still having really bad hits. How is that happening? How is that happening? That is crazy. 
Okay, that was actually, but they had a battleship there. They only lost two. They should have lost one and two. Okay, no, they should have lost one, two. They got one and one, two, and yeah, they should lose two. So here it was nearly equal. That's fine. It's, it's uh, what I think is mostly, mostly German that has this when you're, or the human character, sorry, because I also played the Japanese, also played Italians, and it's actually the same in the first turn. You really get hammered. Um, in the other scenario, where this not, I do not think that is that hard. What are they doing here? The French are going in here. Okay, they're losing the transport. I cannot do anything, I can see. Oh, they are leaving. So the French went in here and lost the transport. Okay, they just try to put the way, and I'm focusing a lot on France, like I did in the other scenario, where it's different, of course, here, and it's easier because you can see that it's not that many units, but focus on going in first time is really important. Okay, they moved in here. They did not attack. Hmm. And now we have... It looks like we have a real Pearl Harbor. Okay, that's a nice one to see. But in the other, we did not have it, so... Let's see here. No, 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 no. Okay, that's nearly fair. No. What? That is cheating. They got a lot more than they should have there. Terrible. Let's look at this attack here. This one? Now, come on. Is it, when, when normally the I'm, I'm really irritated. I feel it. Uh, normally, when the um, because it's cheating. Ninety percent chance of winning, and they lost. They should have at least four units. That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The allies will never be able to do, or if not the allies, because if you are the allies, it's opposite. This is crazy. 90% and they're not winning. They even lost. And I, I really hate this. It's really irritating. The good thing is when you're winning, but you normally do not win those scenarios when you have the first turn kick in your butt because it's not the right setup. And now these, yeah, they have no chance of winning. I hope that this, no, I hope they get it, but the problem here is if they only put one unit in. That should only get one unit, not two. This should not get one even. This should not get any, but when they have this bad of dice throw, like Double sixes, double five six. Okay, they also have really one. That's also too many. Okay, they got it. That was good. But they also should have it. 
this okay that's average then but now it's not it got two this should not get that many here that's a difference they but that's a little bit equalized these guys here they got it It's really important they get it because else the British will use the money and build up an army that they will not be able to take. But it will just as easily lost it. I do not like when this happens. These 90%. They have, of course, 1 out of 10. But this is, this is like the third turn we're trying. Okay, they went in here. They're trying with a plane and a destroyer. As long as the ship is there, I cannot submerge, or can I? Oh, they go up and take Finland. The Russians did not do that. I could have stopped them a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit unfair. Oh, also this one. But then they get it here, right? Whoa. Whoa, that, if that was been a two, then it would be trouble. Okay, they're losing a little bit more than they should do. Um, yeah, a little bit more than they should do. Lose. Yeah, I lose that. Of course I should lose that. I cannot see why. There. Okay. I think I will just submerge. Because it's a plane, right? Okay, they British is also really unlucky here. Okay, there, there they got their thing back here. But that's the one place I really want them to lose units. So the British was also pretty unlucky. But that was not like uh, in instrumental stuff, like really important areas. Because when Yakamoto do not have this six point in um, Hong Kong then they do not have that much money and you can say oh it's fine the the white has this no 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 because the whole it's it's like there's such a little chance that this is happening that is crazy and the first turn the, this goes so fast and it's the first turn you really want to look what happened And the British just went down there too. Yeah, I will do that too. And they came with that. And now they're going in here, taking everything. So these two are lost. Oh, there's also production down here for antics. Normally they're not there. There's also one there and one there and one there. Okay, that's a lot here. Normally in the other scenario, there's only these two. That's good. Whoa. Okay, now they are really in trouble. What's going on here? Okay, that is crazy. That's a big difference. One, two, three, four units. That's okay. That's insane. That's also a big, not a big game changer. There's no factory, but a big change there. So this one equals a little bit this, even not really because they did not lose like really valuable unit like a bomber. And fighter and plane and all that stuff. Let's see how much they lost in economy compared to. What they should have. Okay, it's one bomber and two tanks. So it's the bomber that's the difference. They should have like one bomber and two tanks left. At least it says three and a half. So... That's 14 for the bomber, plus the 10, that's 24. And here, I cannot do that when it does this. Here they should have like nearly three left. So that means this and these two 
how much is that in money? That's 12. Okay, that's also a little bit high loss there. They should have like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 left. And they should lose 10. The problem was also they had the tank left. So there it's around 20 compared around that 15, 20. Uh, we should have a little bit more there. Okay, that was a good hit. And that's two times, so it's fine. But that was totally off the scale, that attack there. The Pearl Harbor was done. But the problem here is that this is set up to get an attack back, and that never happened. What happened was Doolittle made a bombing raid. You can see this, they will lose this, but they are not like historical, it's just trying to make, mix up the units, and they are getting totally beat now. They lost too many units before also, they had to have destroyer. Okay, they are also trying to get our sub here. They have tried one time, and now they try again. Oh, that sub was taken, oh, they are really strong now, the Americans just wiping out, oh, that's not good. Did you see how many units they lost there? They got three there. That was a good one. And now we lost the sub. And they did not lose anything by doing that. But the sub is dead. It was a bad loss here for the... Um, yeah, I, I need to go in. You, wh how you can see the turn before is go view and then say... Um, no, game... And then say show history because I do not like this round one. I really want to see it. Normally it slows down and then you can see everything, but you're not interested in those turns because the first two turns is the most. Uh, the first turn is the most important. A lot of things happen, and then the AI is pretty fast. Let's just um, I'm curious about the combat over here with Japan, right? This one. That's 90%, 92, and around. It's 90%. It's it's the odds there. And here, they should have three and a half units left. Something like it. Units left is attacker. One average attacker, units left. Yeah, let's take the average attacker. So that's three and a half. And that will be the two tanks, and that one, and a half infantry. And they will lose this, this, the tank, and the three men. Good. And that's a good one to remember. Um, and here, over here, they should have around six left. Around six. That means the bomber. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And what happened here? Yeah, that's not the one. Let's take Hong Kong. The loss here was that they should have lost a tank too. And these should have been there. So this should have been like 14, 24, plus the tank. That's 29. Because the other one have to add that. Lacking 29, and here, no, it's not that one. This is 107, and this is not one. This is 107. Okay, what does 107 says? I'm just taking the big battles, maybe it's a little bit, but it's like they should lose one unit. Yeah, one unit is like really close to it. 
Yeah. So one unit and they did lose one. That's fine. But so that's twenty-four. Down here it does not matter, it's like small ones. It's one, two, and one, so it should not lose anything. Here. They should have around five and a half left. Yeah, five and a half. And they had Hundred eight. Nope, that's not the one. Ninety one, that's the one. Five and a half, that would see one, two, three, four, five, and then uh sup. Yeah, that's actually what the odds was. So they lost twenty four in this. So the Japanese also was really unlucky losing all of these situations, yeah. It's just that I wanted, and of course the British also were a little unlucky, but the Americans was pretty lucky there. Uh, but this one, I need to know if that is how much that was. They should have around 11 left. They should lose three. They should lose at least three. But maybe they lost more. Yeah, they lost six. Oh, they lost a lot there. Too many. They actually lost too many here. Then we have to figure out they should lose these three. That's these three. And then no, these two subs and one. And that's 816. 26. So it's actually equal. The other one was 24. This is 26. But I rather want it differently because that's six money in this one they could have gotten. Then this got them. But that's not the same because these needs it. They only got one factory here with eight in. That's all. Now this is taken from them. This is taken. And then they cannot produce what they really want to produce. I'm not even sure they can, how much they got. Turkish units. Okay, they can already Perkis these two. They can already Perkis this. I thought it was only in turn four, but this is one of the ones with the dots. So this is the transport with eight capacity. So this is equal. Japan was actually equal in those situations. That's fine. Uh, it's not like... The only thing is that it's not fine is they could not get this, so they do not have any land areas. So we need to focus on building a lot of other stuff. Let's look at the resources. They got 62, they got 58. This should have been different. This should have been 64, and this should have been uh, 80, uh, 56. We've got 98, and we are, yeah, we are not ready for this. But that's the way. It should not be like irritating like that. Then to go back, you can go in here and show current game, and then we are back in the game setup. But that's it for this time. It's been a long one. This um, The first turn always takes a long time, and I'm not satisfied with it. But again, it's a bigger victory if you win, but normally we do not win when we lose this much in the beginning. We should have like a little bit extra. Uh, we should have gotten one more unit here. We should have not have the problem. Okay, the sub submerge. There was some hits they did not get, but they got it in the end, where they could not even use the planes anyway. So that's also a problem. They do get it. What about these? These you can see. These are the big ones, and they cost eight. They bought three of them. They can transport a lot more units over much faster they did lose some planes lose two planes that's good but they was the cheap ones for eight and not the f expensive one for 14 and now they do not have the units for getting the areas Oh, did they buy one there already? They bought a... F but they do have this, and they bought another one. 
and that's why they should have had Hong Kong, Yakamoto here. They are like, they have to stop Americans' fleet, and they are not going to be able to do that. Not when they cannot buy stuff. Yeah. But that's it for this time. I just say thank you for watching. Even that I'm complaining all the time, this one. Um, but it's just because it's the first turn. And you can just see the statistics yourself and then figure out that I'm right, especially with Germany. The rest can be a little bit vague because I'm not 100% sure. If I'm like um, Japan, I will be able to see it differently. But it's mostly the human factor they, they go against. Also, when you play this, they focus mostly on you compared to the rest. But they do focus on the rest, but they, they are coming in with a lot more forces from different parts here. But the good thing is we got both transports here. That was a really good thing. But we did lose the subs for it. And this one has moved down. And it can still go with more units down here. So it's not like a, a thing where you got just get free of anything. So, But thank you for watching and see you next time.